Tarikh al Khulafa, page 277, 278, 279. He speaks the history about it. He says that the time when Muti' Billah al Qasim, when he was the governor of Baghdad, when he was the govern governor of Baghdad, Today we have MP and this and that. At that time, when Islamic countries were there, they used to appoint governors. Muti' Billah Al Qasim, and remember the name of the book, Tarikh Al Islam, Tarikh Al Khulafa, by Imam Muhammad Jalaluddin Suyuti Ramtulale, and the page is 277, 278, 279. It is available in Urdu. It is avail originally it is in Arabic, and also it is available in English. And it is also available for free download on internet if you want to. If you don't want to buy it, you can just download it. And you go back to this page, you will find that he says that during the time of Muti' Billah Al Qasim, he appointed his minister. His name was Mu'izz al Dawla. And these both of them, they were influencing Shia Madhab at that time. Remember this point. These were the people who were dominating the Shia Madhab at that time. And this Moiz al-Dawla, he was uh, the minister. He had a group of people during his time. One of the occasions in the early morning, one stood from the family, so-called from Ahl al-Bayt, so-called from Sayyid family, stood up in the morning and said, the soul of Ali has come into me. Uh, this is in the book. They believe in incarnation. They said that the soul of Ali has entered into me. His wife said, Fatima's soul came into me. And the third man from it's the same family said, Jibril, I'm Jibril. He didn't know, so Jibril had no soul. <laughs> he didn't know that. And when, when, when people are blind followers, we say, Akal ke darwaze band ho jate. So this third person, stupid person, he didn't know. He said, the soul of Jibril came to me. So I am Jibril. And the concept refers to what? Today we say, we are talking about whether the Shias are Muslim or not. And this brother was talking about only one group. When first time, I was appointed as a teacher in Dubai, in a high school. Unfortunately, my senior was Shia in the, class, in the teaching staff. And because of my strong teaching attitude and m motivating the youth to you know, come to Islam, he was after me. He wanted me to become Shia. So he started, he was a PhD. He started his dawah on me. And he didn't tell me whether what was his faith or this and that. He was always talking about Quran, Sunnah, Quran, Sunnah, and he never quote anything. But because of his, uh, you know, the qualification, he was a very tough guy. I just told him, look, man, I know you will be just reading from your English books or whatever the translations you have read from your books. It's better get me your Shia Alim and let me have a debate with him. <coughs> and he took me to the biggest mosque in Dubai. It is in Par Dubai. They have a big mosque, big mosque, maybe four times bigger than this. And Bukhari, Imam Bukhari of uh, Allahabad in India, he came to this mosque for some times, and then he said, okay, our Imam has come. I want you to go and discuss with him. I went for the debate. And since I knew that they will have, you know, maybe uh, uh, they argue with me something, and if they say something bad about Allah or His Rasul, definitely I won't control myself. And then I'll, be have, I'll have a problem. So I took non choku with me. I was in martial arts, I took non choku with me. I tied it here. And my, I was wearing soap, and my, underneath I was wearing karate pajama. And I tied my nonchoku there. I said, in case if they catch me, then I can at least come out safely. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I went there. This guy, subhanallah, this Imam Bukhari, he's Allama. His title was Allama, and end was Bukhari. And no beard, completely shaven. And very stylish hair. I do have, so alhamdulillah, it's not a problem. Very stylish hair. 
and he was having tambaku gutka gutka you know mixed with tobacco and other stuff and he was doing like this and subhanallah looking at him my my intention was gone totally i was in a different mood and he started putting into that pipe and i said subhanallah what is this i told that guy look you, this is your imam is he going to debate with me about halal and haram what is he doing then he said no no this is makru <laughs> subhanallah he said this is makru okay then he said that why did you come here i said i have come here to discuss about our aqeedah he said okay you start alhamdulillah i was always in the martial art and this is i thought okay he gave me the chance i'll knock him down in a first shot but subhanallah when i started quoting the hadith from bukhari he said shut up shut up i said what happened he said we don't believe your books wallahi this is the first thing he said and i was burning inside i thought i'm gonna squeeze him and because he denying hadith of rasul sallam subhanallah it's not one hadith if you see the collection of bukhari muslim tirmidhi abu dawood nisa ibn majah 64000 hadith 64000 hadith and this shia alim is saying i don't believe in your books if you have any question if you have any discussion talk on from our books <laughs> and i was a new muslim at that time i didn't know about that and i said okay you have i i, I give up you are the winner and then from that time i started reading their books and that is why i i purposely wanted to quote you these books where you will get the idea that this is not something which we talk we have to speak if we want to talk about these groups then we should know what are there in their books one issue second issue in sky channel they have three shia channels have established now one is called ahl bayt one is called ahl bayt in that they have openly publicly they are showing with more attractive way you know media media can change abdul majid into a girl beautiful girl okay the media can change that so they have shown that how this ahlul bayt are cursing abu bakr by name abusing abu bakr by name and we say that alhamdulillah we are in doubt i am receiving the call from the brothers that the muslim sunni girl she is married to a shia and she has got three sons three child for children from this man now what is the ruling about that marriage subhanallah vice versa the boy is married to a shia girl there are people family who are arranging the marriages so we are doubtful about these issues not only that there are youth i came to luton i know that there are some youth they have changed to from our sunni aqeedah they have changed to shia aqeedah this one in this channel they are abusing abu bakr umar uthman and ali not only that not only that in their books it's not only the rafida it's not only the rafida generally all the shias generally all the shias they believe that abu bakr was a deceiver abu bakr was zalim umar was zalim uthman was zalim they have do, done zulm on ali they made him get busy with the funeral of rasul sallam and they were looking for their position so they were busy with their khilafa they kept all ahlul bayt abbas abdullah bin abbas ali and the brother of ali uh, abbas they were all busy in arranging prophets funeral and rasul sallallahu uh, abu bakr umar they were fighting for the khilafa they start from this so they do, do not all the shias they do not accept the khilafa of abu bakr khilafa of umar khilafa of, of uthman radhiyallahu an they also quote the hadith from sahih bukhari they also quote the hadith from sahih bukhari where fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she went to abu bakr and she said that give my inheritance 